Hello everybody, it's uh, almost November 1st. Happy Halloween on Monday. Um, I just had a showing with this car about 30 seconds ago, that's why it's running. I'm gonna put it back in the, in the car house, but um, this guy seems really serious, but he's a nice guy too. But before him, the car had two more deals made on it. So you could say the car has now sold six times prior to this morning, who was just in conversation. Um, I'm not going to go into details because who knows the guys watching this ch channel might actually be offended if I tell them what they did to me but um, long story short I uh, left work to meet a guy who claimed to be serious it turned out he wasn't let's leave it at that and then I had a guy from the States on Sunday a week ago tomorrow say to me um, I'm going to offer you 5000 American for this car. And I said, well, that's fine, sir. We can talk about price. Before we do that, can we please, uh, can we please have you look into shipping first? Because I had several Americans try to buy the car. The fine shipping killed the deal. And he kind of yelled at me and said, I'm not everybody. I said, okay, well, I'm letting you know that sometimes shipping can be a surprise. So I'm going to have FedEx ship this car to me. Can we, are we making a deal or not? I'm like, let me talk to my wife and I'll get back to you. So I countered at a good price and he accepted it. He said, I'm gonna buy the car. I said, okay. So I went to my bank on Monday and I got the information for the wire transfer. Next thing I know, he blocks me. So I can only assume two things happened. Number one, he couldn't afford shipping. He found out that FedEx cannot put the car in an envelope and send it to the mail and or he just was never serious to begin with. So six deals since the auction ended. So it's been very frustrating. And um, people don't seem to realize that uh, this car is a very good deal for what it is. Most average 80s Cadillacs need Bonner roofs, need fillers, need headliners. And they have a lot more kilometers too, like 80, 180 or 200,000 kilometers. And they're worth about $5,000, they're drivers. And they're asking way more than I am for this car. They're asking like 10.5 and 15.5 for cars that need all these things. So it makes no sense to me. In my opinion, a car with everything done to it, in this condition, with this low kilometers, should have sold within a week. It's a real shame that the auction at Hemmings did not work because I could have avoided all these people who are wasting my time. I leave work for these people. I leave my family, my babies, to see people that aren't serious. And it's very unkind. What I need to do is meet people like myself who don't contact you unless you have money and are serious. I have yet to meet anybody like myself. I don't BS around. I well, I want to buy a car, I damn well buy it. I don't kick a dead horse. I make the deal and I take it. I don't torture people. So what's wrong with the market today? I don't really know. I'll let you know if this guy today ends up buying it. He's like a nice guy, but you just don't know till the money's in your hand. But that's where I am right now. If it doesn't sell today or tomorrow, I'll put it in stores for the spring and go from there but thank you all for the interest and for listening and um, it's too bad but the market the, the used car market has really deteriorated it's full of people who aren't really schooled in what a classic car is and what to look for if their first question is about floor mats um, they shouldn't really be buying a classic car you gotta ask questions about How's the body? How's the frame? Was any rust work done? Was it welded in or was it bondoed? They don't ask those questions. They're not car guys. They're not. I need to meet someone who is and who knows what they're talking about and who can appreciate what this car actually is. But time to put her back in the garage. And as always, I'll see you down the road.